All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back. If you're new here, um, I am Brandon Coyne, and we talk about mining and crypto and doing all kinds of that stuff. But today, this is a video for probably the last 50 people over this weekend that have messaged me asking about why mining profits are down. So I, I've, I've been away for like two days, and I come back, and yeah, I, I normally get a lot of messages a day, but... Um, the influx of messages from concerned people about mining profits is through the roof. So today we're going to be talking about why mining profits are down and what does this mean for the future of mining. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, the website we're going to start off with today is whattomine.com. This is a good place to see what your cards are making per day so you can compare. Because a lot of people are like, oh my god, my card's not making what it's supposed to be making. Well, how do you know what it's supposed to be making? And this tool right here, this website, is a, is a great tool to figure that out. So, for example, this is RTX 3060 Ti. How do, how do you select a card? You just click on it to select them. So, if I wanted to select 11070, I would type in 11070. Boom, right there. But today, we're going to select 13060 Ti. It fills in all the values for you. You make sure all these are, are blue. These are all the different algorithms. Then you click Calculate. Once you hit calculate, you scroll down here and it'll show you the most profitable ones. So the most profitable one is direct mining Ethereum right now. And for 13060 Ti, you're going to get $4.41 a day uh, before power. And then it's $4.10 a day after power. And to put in your power rate is underneath the cost section right here. I have it as 10 cents per kilowatt. That's pretty standard. Um, now going down, you can see all these other algorithms that are you can mine and they're just less profitable so ah, sorry about that my throat was uh was getting there anyway the next one is nice hash ethereum so that's mining ethereum through nice hash four dollars and 20 cents a day Ooh, 420 bro i'm just kidding oh, bro um coin flux three dollars 82 cents a day and and so on down the line um notable octopus three dollars and 15 cents raven coin two dollars and uh 83 cents and and so on so if you're mining something and your values don't come close to these values or go over them because a lot of times what to mine under is underperforming for what the market actually is paying per day so yeah if you're not close here then you may have something wrong but if you're at least here or above then you know you're doing good so that's that's the first thing out of the way now let's actually talk about why uh, mining is going down because just a few weeks ago and last week 3060 ti's were doing five six seven eight nine even ten dollars a day so they've gone down pretty dramatically and let's get to that and for that i have another website that's a very very valuable tool it's bitinfocharts.com and then you can go down here and select what coin you want to look at or select ethereum and then i selected three months so we can see and this is the profitability, mining profitability, um, and how it's changing. And you can see right now where we're at today is the same as it was in January 3rd. It was trending up in January 3rd. So because a lot of people, I've, some of my messages are like, oh my God, it's never made this low. And I promise you, it has made less. Mining Ethereum and mining other coins, like you can see down here, December was definitely less than what it is currently right now. Now, does that mean we're going to keep trending down and go lower than that? We'll get to that. But looking at, at it on the six-month scale, where we're at right now is above all the way from September to December of last year. So September, October, November, December, still we're paying significantly less, almost half of what we're currently getting paid at the moment. I know. See, we were up here over these last few weeks, so we were just riding the top. And a lot of people got in at the top, and they're not going to be ready for when it goes down. We'll talk about that more later in a minute. So, why does profitability go down? There's a couple factors. One factor, we just had a huge dump, huge sell-off. If we go into coin market cap, obviously you guys know that the price of Ethereum is down. So the price of Ethereum went down. It's $1,400. So the amount of Ethereum that's getting paid out 
for fees and rewards is worth less. Okay, that's understandable. Then the difficulty chart. So if we look up Ethereum difficulty chart. Difficulty mean is, is the measure of how many miners are on the network and how difficult it is to solve a block. So as difficulty goes up, it's harder to get those rewards. So, and as you can see, difficulty is still trending basically up um, over the last month. Yeah, it come down a little bit, but not really. So price going down, difficulty going up equals less pay. And that, that's pretty much, that's like, yeah, that's your 99% factor right there. Um, now, the next question that I got immensely through my messages is what should we do? Oh my God, what should we do? You have a lot of options right now. Graphics cards are still selling for more than they have in multiple years. You definitely can sell your graphics cards. There's no doubt about it. If you go onto eBay, but let's just, let's go on eBay. I'm in no hurry. I hope you guys are in no hurry also. Let's let's look up a 3060 Ti right now. The hotness on the NVIDIA side. So we're going to go buy it now. Lowest price. These are scams. These are scams. Let's find the first legitimate listing. These are scams. Here we go. New listing, $1,100. Uh, 100% 60 feedback. Description, NVIDIA 3060 graphics card used. I would consider this a um, this looks like a legit listing but a thousand dollars these graphics cards are were 399 if you got them new i was only able to get one at 399 but as you can see these things are still a thousand plus dollars so you can still get out and get your investment um if not still make money on your actual graphics cards and i don't condone that i don't like scalping um, but it is a free market, so you, you can do whatever you want. Um, by the way, don't fall for all these. These these are these are 100% scams. You're not going to see somebody selling a 3060 for 400 bucks. And if you go down here, there's no 3060, just a printed picture of it. Unless you want to pay 400 more for it, then be my guest. No refunds. Blah blah blah. And a lot of people are doing this to like curb the bots. But I'm going to be honest, you're just kind of wasting people's time. Uh, cause I don't, I don't think that actually hurts the bots at all. Uh, so yeah, just be careful about what you buy. Um, but you can sell your cards and get out from underneath them right now. If you're scared now, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm not selling my cards. I'm holding on to them and we're going to ride the roller coaster. If you can see this, it looks like a, this one right here, profitability. It looks like a roller coaster because it is a roller coaster. You don't know if it's going up. You don't know if it's going down until after the fact um so you can hindsight's like beyond 2020 so like say it spiked up right here it spiked up and it's going back down people are getting scared what if they sold off right there sold their cards they're like it's going down i don't like it that's actually technically lower than we are today for profitability uh and then all of a sudden it pumps back up pumps back up profitability goes back up you just don't know you don't you don't know if price keeps going down and difficulty keeps going up i can guarantee you that profitability will go down if price goes up and difficulty goes up like to match it difficulty could hold steady uh or i mean profitability could hold steady but if price goes up and difficulty goes down oh my god like profitability would go through the roof so it you need to weigh those factors in your head and nobody can make the decision for you because a lot of people are just like what should i do what should i do that should be your choice uh and nobody else's so yeah hopefully i've given you enough knowledge to make an educated decision um some things I, that I, I am doing absolutely is i'm going to be trimming the fat on a couple of the cards a couple of my older cards while the market's still high so i have some 474 gig cards uh, they burn a good amount of power, and I can make some room for some newer cards. So I'm going to be selling those off. By the way, don't contact me because they're already sold. Um, like, this isn't a for sale video. This is just talking about what I'm doing. And I'm going to be adding. Um, I have a new 3060 non-TI coming in, so we can play with that. And I want to get my hands on some more 3070s or, or 3060 TIs 
and I really want to get some of the new 6700s and 6600s from AMD. I'm I'm really looking at those like very strongly. So yeah, with that being said, uh, I'll include links down below for what to mine and also bit info charts. Uh, I, I'm not sponsored or endorsed by any of these. These are just websites that I like to use and they have some valuable information so you can kind of look at it because um, I, I kind of understand where some of these guys are coming from. They just got into it. Their card was making $10 yesterday and now it's making you know $5 a day and they have no idea what's going on. So that's that's crypto. Uh, nobody know, Nobody necessarily knows what crypto is going to do. Um, yeah and yeah crypto can do what it wants so um that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching this is brandon on brandon coin i hope you like subscribe comment let me know what you guys think uh, i'd like to know what what you guys are doing are you going to be selling off are you going to be keeping your cards um yeah i mean i guess it's pretty much the the two only options i heard some people are going to turn off their cards until profitability goes back up and um i hate to tell you guys if we look at this profitability chart we're not doing bad over like look at the last year we're still above other than a couple instances last year two little spike ups we are still above everything from last year if we go to three years wow we our profitability right now is currently above everything all the way back to 2018 february 27 2018 now if we go to all time oh wow this graph is junk uh okay we can't really see that very accurately but yeah our profitability is not bad right now ladies and gentlemen where do i think it's going to settle out at i think we'll settle out somewhere in the range of about maybe a little probably a little bit lower than where we're at i think we're still too high um so 30 60 ti's probably going to settle out in that 250 to three dollars a day range that'd be nice uh but i don't i don't see it sustainable holding those cards making what they were making um now does that mean that's the gospel absolutely not they could make more um that's just how crypto is so uh, i'm not going to keep rambling i'm not going to hold you guys up but uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of clarify that a little bit. And hopefully I covered all the topics I had in my brain. Uh, so you guys know how to find out which cards are making and compare that against what the market's doing. You guys know how to look at the market and compare it uh, previously against the market. You know what I mean? Like profitability. And um, you guys know that you can get out. There is an out. Um yeah with that being said i think i've already ended this video but i'll end it again thank you guys for coming we'll see you on the next one adios Need to make me like a like a North Carolina hat with like a like a little Bitcoin on it or something. Cause I got this North Carolina hat with my with my you know the tobacco leaves. That's what North Carolina is known for. But uh, I mean, there's a lot of Bitcoin farmers up here. I mean, technically, I'm not a not a Bitcoin farmer, but to the general public, they don't know the difference. You know, I guess or I could do a North Carolina hat with like a little Ethereum um, diamond in there. Yeah, maybe maybe not. I don't know. We'll experiment with that. Anyway, guys, yeah, for real this time. Peace. You all still here? All right. So since uh, oh, my dogs are barking. Can y'all hear that? Okay. It's not showing up on my audio mixer. Um... Yeah, well. Um, I don't know. I had a thought and I, it, it escaped me. So, yeah, I guess I'm actually going to end the video now.
Later, guys.